Mountain Subvet here. Today we're going to be talking about the Sig Sauer P320 in the subcompact frame. Let's check this weapon is safe. Empty magazine. Clear weapon. Nothing in the chamber. We have a safe weapon. So, let's talk about the P320 subcompact. It is the striker fired pistol from Sig Sauer. As of right now, it's the only one. It also comes on the P250 frame. So if you're familiar with the interchangeable fire control unit, you're going to get that as well. But you probably already knew that. So let's talk about this trigger. It is nice and smooth. Let me show you here. The take up. A little bit of pressure. And there we go. Breaks quick and easy. Let's check the reset. Reset. there go again so if you like a striker fired pistol this is a great option for you if you like a double stack something about the size of a baby glock uh, something a little bit chunky but still concealable this might be a great option for you I got it for an inside the waistband concealed carry to step up from a single stack to a double stack in nine millimeter uh, for my personal carry preferences it's just a little too big it's a uh, great sidearm to have. It functions flawlessly. I've got about 500 rounds through it so far. Not one single issue with any of the ammo I've ran through it. Uh, it has just been super reliable in that uh, 500 round test, and it's just been a joy to shoot. But if I'm not going to carry it every day, then that kind of defeats the purpose of it as a concealed carry uh, firearm. So let's just run through some of the specifics on it. This is the subcompact frame. As you probably know, you can break it down uh, to the fire control unit, which is the actual gun itself. This is not the gun. Let's walk through that real quick. The takedown is simple. You lock the slide open, which is a nice feature as compared to a lot of striker fires that you have to close in the battery and then pull the trigger. Uh, one less chance for there being a negligent discharge. Let's go ahead and put this back in the battery. Once you take down the takedown lever, there you go. Everything else should be about what you're used to. You've got your double recoil spring here. The barrel comes out, of course, as with every other semi-automatic. The real secret here is with this takedown pin. If you work it around a little bit, back and forth, you can pull it completely out. And when it comes out, so does your fire control unit. This is actually the gun. This is all there is to the firearm. My serial number is stamped here on the side, which shows through a window on the frame right here. And this can all be swapped out to get a uh, compact or a full-size pistol. You'll get a new slide, new barrel, spring, and grip uh, frame. And you'll just drop your fire control unit right back into it, which is pretty easy. And I'm doing this backwards, so forgive me. It is really easy to do, especially once you've done it a couple times. Let's rotate this back in. I found is making sure that it lines up correctly. That'd be the pain. There we go. Make sure it's fully in in the right direction. There we go. Drop it down. It's ready to receive the slide assembly again. Also, if you do go with this uh, firearm, just realize they give you an insert in your box. Bright orange. Make sure you read it. It says that the recoil spring must go in a very specific way or else you will jam uh, the gun and possibly have to send it back to SIG to be repaired. So I'm not a fan of that. But as long as you do it the right way, then you're good. So. There we go. In fact, if I swap it a couple times, usually I'll work that slide to release back up. Now I have a function checkable weapon. Everything is good. It's a great firearm. I really like it. Um, the reason I am selling it is, again, for my everyday carry, I need a single stack. Since I got the subcompact version of this, 
I did not get the night sights, I got the contrast. They do sell this as an upgraded version subcompact with the night sights. This one came with the contrast and um, all of the larger versions I believe also come with the contrast but not necessarily the subcompact. The subcompact also has no accessory rail. It is uh, limited to 12 plus 1, which is great for carry, but uh, for a full-size gun, that's a little light, and it is still pretty chunky. If I had wanted this to be a home defense firearm, which I would love to keep it around for a home defense, I would have opted for a larger setup, not the subcompact. I would have got maybe the compact slash carry or the full-size, get that accessory rail, flashlight, more capacity, uh, something in the home I'd feel more comfortable with. So, this ended up being a little too big for me for everyday carry and a little too small for home defense. I like that you can swap out the fire control unit, and if I was an armor in a police department or the military, that would be useful. I would switch it between different frames for different, uh, different personnel or different needs. I'm not, though. I'm just an end user, and uh, having to pay, it comes out to almost the same price as a whole new gun. You're maybe looking at $80 more to have an entirely new functional gun. It's just too much money to invest in uh, not needing this frame. Um, maybe if you're in one of those areas that you are limited to how many uh, handguns you can own, there you go. You can have four or five different, uh, or I guess three different versions of this gun, all with the exact same trigger, the exact same feel. Uh, but for me, I don't need that. Uh, I'm going to actually unload this and get a... Uh, single stack that I prefer. Uh, I'm still on the search for that. But before I got rid of it, I wanted to go ahead and do a quick review. So uh, it's a great, great weapon. It is based on the uh, 250 setup, frame size, etc. Uh, the only difference being this is a striker fired instead of being hammer fired. Um, and it is all the rage right now. Uh, I was able to list it online and have a buyer within. Uh, a day or so so it's very popular right now it, it's apparently hard to get it some places if you can find it pick it up you won't be disappointed again if you like the baby glock size if this if you're in an area that uh, you can carry a weapon of this size then you'll be perfectly happy i live in a very liberal area uh, for me deep concealment uh, is more of a premium at this point than capacity and again if it's going to be a gun I keep in the truck or in the house, it can be larger than this. So I'm just going to pick up something that more matches my needs. But you may find that this is perfect for your needs. Anyways, here it is. If you have any questions about it, uh, feel free to ask in the comments. I'm just sharing some of the things that I came across with it. I use a lot of videos when making my decisions uh, myself, and I hope that this helps somebody else out there. The whole kit came with two magazines, a nice hard box, a hard case, lockable. You get the uh, outside the waistband, a mini paddle holster, second 12 round, and of course all the swag, gun lock, etc. Uh, what I found though for carrying this cheap $15 gun show special canvas uh, inside the waistband holster it doesn't do much but it does what it needs uh, the sights snag a little bit but in my, all my drawing I never had any issue with that in any practice uh, it's, but it big thing is it doesn't add much bulk and that's with a, a gun this size I don't want any bulk I also have an alien gear uh, inside the waistband hybrid their leather and kydex build and while the gun fits perfectly in the kydex it's just too heavy and being fully loaded being that heavy even with my gun belt I feel like it's pulling a quarter of my my belt down which makes me constantly want to have to pull my belt back up uh, just ended up being too heavy too much uh, while I could conceal it with a heavy overgarment I often don't have to wear one I live in the mountains where uh, I may go out during the day in winter wearing a jacket but as soon as I get inside I'm taking it off and I'm worried again about printing. Uh, I have not ever printed that I know of with it on but it still made me much more self-conscious than my uh, single stack uh, smaller 
the pistols. So just decided that, and then the weight issue, always feeling like it's just too heavy, too much um, for my carry purposes is why I'm getting rid of it. But again, I love SIG, and it's, uh, it's a great, great weapon. I can't say anything bad about it aside from its weight. You see the positive release from the, the magazine and very smooth action. It uh, yeah, it hasn't given me any problems. A great accuracy out of the box. Really enjoyed shooting it. Uh, hate to see it go. I just don't need this particular model at this time. So there you go. Enjoy it, and um, I hope this helped in some way. Take care.